My sinuses are killing me right now. Totally not a hangover. Oh, thank God. They're new. Today is what we call a self-imposed problem. A self-imposed problem is when you do something that's really, 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 really stupid, and in the moment you know it's stupid, but you did it anyway, and now you regret it. An example of that would be leaving the disconnect off when you're working on a unit and then leaving and getting a call back that whatever you did didn't work for you to find out it was because you didn't turn the disconnect back on. This is the most important thing about self-imposed problems. Nobody gives a shit about your problem. All they care about is what are you doing to fix the problem? Because everybody has their own problems. Nice and secure. Ugh. Yeah, I made a little uh, oopsie in the boiler room the other day. All right, that's it. Let's go uh, change the pump. So I was uh, doing the tune-up on the boiler uh, a couple days ago, and... While I was going through testing the limit circuit, I intentionally tripped the manual reset high limit to make sure it works, turned the dial back, put the cover on, walked away, forgot to hit the manual reset button, which would have been a problem. You know, come wintertime, heat's not going to go on. The worst part about self-imposed problems is you have nobody to blame but yourself. That could have generated like an hour or two's worth of a service call because someone's going around looking to find what caused this to trip when it was me. I did it. I did it while I was servicing. There is nothing wrong. That's one or two hours A, you can't bill for, and B, you could have been on another job that you could have billed for. Going right here. This was my attempt to prevent a self-imposed problem. Unfortunately, there aren't any switches or anything to disconnect power directly to the pump other than turning power off the Tecmar. So instead of somebody not knowing that this bearing assembly is bad, turning it on and then because the assembly is locked up, it burns out the motor, well, I just, I just disconnected the power. Self-imposed problem avoided. Because other than me telling literally everybody, you never know if someone that isn't in the know comes in and screws everything up on you. This coupling doesn't look Two, two, oh, this one spring is kind of extended. I'm still gonna swap it out anyway. Deal with problems while they're small. This eventually is gonna break. And going through all this effort to change the bearing assembly and then in a couple months to have to come back, not worth it. This, garbage. Look at that. Man. You know, I had a bad feeling about this impeller. Self-imposed problem. Picks up a new bearing assembly. Does not pick up a new impeller just in case this one's damaged. Maybe I have one on the truck.
Come on, Roy. Whatever. At the end of the day, there's a ton of different levels to self-imposed problems. It could be something minor, like forgetting to hit the manual reset button, or not thinking ahead and getting a part you might need, but you're not sure. Or it could be a big problem, like working on the wrong air conditioning unit for two hours. Point is, the most important thing is that you learn from your mistake. And I think I'm rambling, I'm rambling? I think I'm rambling. <laughs>